Good morning students. Today we will discuss about insert statements, update and delete. But whenever you talk about the insert, then there are so many varieties of the insert is available. For example, we discussed the two varieties of the insert in the previous lecture. The first one was we can insert into particular table, then we can provide the column list. The column list is optional. If you are not providing the column list, then directly you can write the values respective to the column created in the table. But if you are providing the column list, then you have to provide that particular value into values close. Another way to insert into the table is suppose if you want to insert into particular table that is table 1 and you want to retrieve the data from the table 2 then you can write the insert select. Remember students values close is known as a select close and that is the reason why whenever you are using the select we are not using the values close. For example suppose if you think that sir I want to retrieve the three columns of table 2 and I want to insert into three columns into table one then you can write the insert select but there is a one rule over here and that is what the number of columns in the table one that you are inserting and the number of columns the in the select list must match one rule second the respective data type must match for example uh, you can say that this column one has integer data type and this select has character then you are inserting the character into this integer then your uh, value will not be inserted and you will get an error. Another variety of the insert that is known as a with check option. So how to use the with check option? In with check option we have to use the sub query. Definitely a query is still pending from our side. So I will just give you some hint that how we can use the with check option I want to use the with check option. So uh, whenever you want to use the with check option, I want to use the create table. I want to first create the table. So I'm just simply creating the table, create table student. Now I'm writing roll number that is integer. Then I have one more column over here that is a name. For example, bracket to 30. I have one more column and that is a city, right? That is what I want to discuss right now and that is what this is the simple table that is student now there is no constraint available in this city column right but I want to restrict to the user that whenever they are inserting the data I want to restrict them to particular city it means I don't want to allow every user to enter any data into the city definitely I have not put any constraint over here so how we can do this in insert statement so very simple whenever you want to insert the data you can write the with check option how for example you can write insert into now here in bracket you can write the query for example what you want to select so I want to select roll number name and city so in this particular column I want to insert from which table that is student now here you can write the condition that where ct is equal to raj code now what happens see whenever you write like this where ct equal to raj code and if you are writing with check option right now the question is whenever you write values over here if the value other than the raj code in a ct column it will not allow for example, values roll number 101, name of the person is, for example, Ramesh, and the name of the city is Raj Kot. I'm trying to insert this particular data. See, carefully over here. I'm just copying this and paste. It will allow me to insert the record. But if I'm trying to insert the data other than Raj Kot, that is, for example, if I'm trying to insert the record of Surat, for example, Paresh, right? Suppose if I am trying to insert the record of Paresh with the Surat city, then the check option where close will violate it. Now, what is the biggest advantage? The biggest advantage is 
this is my table C select star from student we all know that we can insert the data of any city into this why because this particular table have no any constraint right but I have three different user for example let me connect over here that is AU 2020 AU. here user 1 is connected to AU right so this is the user 1 available over here now I given a task to the user 1 that you need to insert the data of only Rajkot city so what happened whenever it he or she is trying to insert the data it means I'm just I will use the M person over here enter the city enter the name so I will write M person name and I will write here that is M person roll number that is RNO for example now whenever you press a slash then it will asking you for the roll number for example roll number is 102 and whenever you write the name for example name is Chira and suppose if you are writing the city for example Raj code then it will allow you to insert the data now I have another prompt over here and this prompt is also accessing the same database right and that is by the same user for example AU 2020 and AU is the password now in the same schema I want to try to insert the data right but I will now use the different CT you can just simply copy this first and then you can just simply change into this that is a check CT that is where CT is equal to for example Surat right and now if I try to insert the data and that will be for example values M person roll number M person name and in single quote M person for example CT now it will ask me to insert the data for example if a roll number is 103 the name is for example for example Farag and if I enter the city other than Surat for example Rajkot then the check option will be violated this is the wonderful advantage over here I have to write the 103 Farag and I have to write the Surat then and then I will be able to insert the data see here this person this person will not be able to insert the record of other than Rajkot, this person will not be able to insert the record other than Surat. And one of the biggest thing is what? That still my table have both the data. For example, this is my third screen. If you write here select star from student, then both record are available over here. It means I can insert the record of Rajkot, I can insert the record of Surat, even I can insert the record of Vadodara also but whenever you try to insert the data you can just simply you can just simply use the with check option and whatever you give the condition over here in your where close it will be applied to your data for example if you say that i want to insert the student whose roll number is greater than 50 so you can write here conditions roll number greater than or equal to 50 and if you write with check option then this condition will be applied to this insert statement only so this is all about a with check option what is with check option whatever you write a condition over here that particular data if and only you provide that particular data then and then this insert statement will insert the data otherwise it will not allow you to insert the record but if you are not writing this particular select query and if you are directly insert the data then the, your table will permit you to insert the data right so this is the third variety of insert now another variety of insert is there and it is known as a conditional insert so sometimes people say that what is a conditional insert please see carefully for example see I have 
employees table so i'm just writing select count star from employees there are 107 records now i have so many columns available over here suppose if you write here describe employees then you will be able to see that the columns are employee id first name last name email phone number hire date job id salary commission manager id and department id are the columns available in employees table now i have two different tables that is for example manager history this is the table and i have one more table that is a salary history i have no records available in this tables so whenever i write select star from salary history and whenever i write select star from manager history there are no records available in this two tables now what is my task my task is very simple i want to insert into this manager history table if and only if the employee manager id code is greater than 200 and I want to insert into salary history table if and only if the employee's salary is greater than or equal to 10,000. So how to do this? Very simple say. So here you can simply write the query first to identify how many records are there. So you can write select count star from employees where salary that is greater than or equal to 10,000. So there are 19 records. It means there are 19 employees whose salary is greater than or equal to 10,000. What I want to do? I want to insert this 19 records into table that is a cell history. Right. And one more thing is what? I just want to know the cell. I want to count, want the count of the people whose manager ID is greater than or equal to 200 so there are two records whose manager id is greater than or equal to 200 now what i want to do i want to insert this particular that two records into the table that is manager history so this is my task my task is very simple if this employee's salary is greater than or equal to 10,000, then i want to insert into salary history if manager id is greater than or equal to 2000 then i want to insert this particular data into manager history now i want to do this particular task so how we can do this very simple you can use insert all statement so insert all is a keyword now you can write the condition where salary greater than or equal to 10000 then insert into cell history table so now we will insert into cell history tables so cell history table have which columns employee number hire date and salary so here you can write employee number hire date and salary right now i'm simply writing that is employee number hire date and salary these are the columns that i want to insert now whenever the manager id so manager id is the column you also need to know that this column salary is coming from the table which is employees so you can write salary over there so when, when manager id greater than or equal to 200 then i want to insert into mgr history table now which are the column of mgr history employee number manager and salary so i'm simply writing here employee number and manager id and salary but students from which table you will select this data so i want to select the data from employees right so here you can write the select close that is select employee id this is the column of employees here you can just check describe employees right so employee id is the column right so you can select the employee id then you can select the higher underscore date see here higher underscore date is the column so you can select higher underscore date then you can select the salary so you can select the salary why because we need a salary over here then you can select the manager id from employees table remember students 
employee number is the column that should be available over here in your select list. So either you can write here as employee number or you need to write employee ID column over here. So you can write here employee ID. Now here you can write employee ID. So this is the employee ID. This is the hire date and this is the salary column. This is also a salary column. Now this is my one insert statement right and what i want to do see here this is the table cell history there are no records available this is the table manager history no records available and whenever i fire this query you need to check one more thing is what insert into cell history you need to write the values so this will be your values and that will be retrieved from your select close now simply you can copy this particular statement and you can paste over here see there are 21 records are created now you can just check select start from mgr history see my record will be inserted into mgr history if and only if the manager id is greater than or equal to 200 right so it is perfect and if you check over here, select star from cell history, then the record will be inserted into this table if and only if the salary is greater than or equal 10,000. So if it is a 10,000, then also the record will be inserted. So 19 records are created into cell history and two records are created into MGR history. So this particular concept is known as a insert call. This is known as a conditional insert now suppose if you think that sir i want to make the pivoting insert what is pivoting insert let me give you some example related to pivoting insert for example i have a data that is select star from sales source data please see carefully this is the sales data of individual week wise you can say this is the sales ID in first week that is sales on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Then in second week I have the different cell day wise. In third week I have the cells in day wise. But if you think that sir I don't want this I want to create one more table over here and that will be sales info. And in this particular table I want to create the that is week ID, week ID integer and I want to create the table that is cells that is number of two digit. So this is my table that is cells info. Now you think that sir there are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 columns are there. I want to insert the 7 columns data into 2 columns data. So, what kind of data you want? I want that this week ID 1 and then in front of 1, I want 10. So, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150 and 160. It means I want the 6 records per week. So, this 6 record per week. So, I want the 18 records over here. So, in this sales info table, I want to convert this, that is all available in a column, that is I want to convert into row. So, this kind of thing is known as a pivoting insert. So, how we can convert uh, this uh, sales of individual day into, that is two columns. So, how we can insert into this particular table. So, again, you can use insert all. Now you can write this repeatedly into close. For example, into sales info. Now what you want to insert? So I want to insert the values. Which values? So SID. So what will be my SID? SID will available from sales source data and it will be inserted into week ID of this. Right? So I am simply writing SID. If you want to mention the week ID, then you can use the bracket over here and you can mention that in week ID and sales column, 
insert the values SID and cells of Monday. Right. So cells on Monday that will be inserted over here. You can simply copy this, paste, 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 paste six times. Why? Because we want cells of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, which table will give you the data of this? Right. So my data is available in cells source data. So I will simply write select that is SID column comma that is a cells on cells on Monday comma cells on Tuesday comma cells on Wednesday cells on Thursday cells on Friday and cells on Saturday. Right from which table? So cells source data. So now what happens? See your cells source data will be SID and Monday will be inserted into this. SID and Tuesday will be inserted into this. So your one record will be converted into six record, and that is the reason why whenever you copy this and whenever you paste over here in cells source info, see. There are no records available in cells info table. There are zero records are there. But whenever you write like this, definitely I need to check which is the column in cells source data. So describe cells source data. SID cells Monday, cells Tuesday, no cells keyword is there. So simply you can remove this. Now you can copy all these things. So cells Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Now you can check that there are no records available in this particular table. So you can just check select count star from cells info. See there are zero records. Now check describe cells info a weak id there is no underscore in this right so here you need to check that this is the column that is weak id so there is no underscore available over here right simple now you can just simply copy this particular thing and you can paste over here and you will be see you will be able to see that there are 18 records created over here it means what now, whenever you write the queries over here, that is a select star from cells info. Now, you will be able to see the message and you will be able to see the record. That is the one week, Monday, one week, Tuesday, one week, Wednesday. So, all week data is converted into, that is in two columns instead of respective data for each column so this kind of thing is known as a pivoting insert right so this particular data is inserted into this particular table so this is the way you can do the pivoting insert so this is all about a pivoting insert now suppose if anybody says that sir can i copy the table yes you can you can copy the table with records and without records suppose if you think that i want to copy the table without records and i want to copy the table with records then both option you can use for example i have a table that is a select count star from employees so this is the table having 107 records now i want to create one more table over here that will be that is a temp employee right so this is temp employee table is not there or you can say copy employee so copy employee table is not available over here so here you can create the table create table table name that is copy employee so you can give the any name over here then you can use the as keyword and then you can write the select query 
select star from for example employees now whenever you copy this your copy employee table will be created and it will be with records it will be with records and what is the biggest advantage of using this whenever you write select count star from copy employee you will get the 107 records also so you can create the table from another table including records so you can say copy the table with records now i want to copy the table without records so whenever you want to copy the table without records at that time simple thing is give the wrong condition so what is wrong condition without records whenever you want to do this for example see whenever you write select star from employees right then it will give you what 107 records so 107 records will be displayed over here but whenever i say select count star then it will give me count of this particular that is 107 now suppose if you say is here that is where salary greater than or equal to 10,000 then it will give you the count of the employees whose salary is greater than or equal to 10,000 so count is 19 now if you give here wrong condition what is wrong condition for example if I say is where 1 equal to 1 then it is a true condition if it is a true then it will give me all the records that is 107 but if I say is where 1 equal to 2 then the condition will be wrong and if the condition is wrong then you will get the zero records so what we need to do simple we can create another table that is copy employee 2 as select star from employees now give the wrong condition that is one equal to two not one equal to two only you can write 10 10 is greater than 12 so is 10 is greater than 12 no if the condition is false then no record will be there but the table will be created so now my copy employee 2 is created over here now whenever i write select count star from that is copy employee 2 there will be no records available in this select star from copy employee 2 it will it has no records but it has the wall structure copy employee 2 you can see that the table is created but without records and here table is created but with records so this is the way you can copy the table with records and without records now people says that sir i want to update the data can i yes you can what is update update is the statement that is used to modify the records students you must need to understand is what update is used it is used to modify the records don't confuse with it with the update and alter alter is used to modify the structure while update is used to modify the records or rows now what is update and how we can do this <clears throat> what is the syntax very simple update then table name now here you can use the set so in which column you want to set the data so you can write set column equal to value suppose if you want to modify the column of multiple columns then you can write co again comma and column equal to another value comma and so on but at least one column is required one of the good thing is what here you can write the condition so uh, you want to update the data of which people you want to update the data based on which condition so you can write the condition over here that is the good thing but if you are not writing the condition then it will update the data of 
all the records. For example, let me show you the wonderful thing. For example, let me connect with the squad. See here, I have a table in which employee number, name, salary, and job from EMP. So these are the data, right? Now I want to give increment to every employee. It means I want to raise their salary by 10%. So is there any way? Yes, you can. How we can do this? First, you need to just understand that you can use over here that is salary comma salary multiplied by 1.1. So it will be new salary, right? So I'm simply writing here new salary and this is old salary. But whenever you write select, it will not update the data, remember. So old salary is 800 but new salary will be 880. So 10% increment to all the employees, right? But if you write the query again, that is select employee number, name, salary and job from employee, then the salary will not be affected, right? So salary is not changed. So using select, we cannot change. But if you want to change the data, you can use the update. In which table you want to update? I want to update the EMP table. What do you want to set? I want to set the salary equal to salary multiplied by 1.1. So whenever you write salary multiplied by 1.1, it will be 10% increment. But if you are not writing a where condition, it will update the all the data so 15 records are updated and as a result you can check see your actual data is changed so it will be 880 here all the records are changed but what is the wonderful thing about the insert update and delete that it is a dml command so you can say it is a data manipulation language and that is the reason why you can undo the transaction if it is not committed so whenever you say is roll back so rollback will be completed and now if you write the query that is select employee number name salary and job you will get the old salary back why because you are writing rollback but rollback will run up to last committed option only we will explore about the rollback and commit in the next lecture and we will explore more about update and delete into the next lecture. So that's it from my side.